Welcome to me on YouTube. Um, making another video. This one I'm gonna do on um, doing molds for some of the necklaces. I just did this one right here. So basically, what you're gonna need to do is you need to go and get this one is a rubber one for stamps because I'm out of the there. I don't have any silicone ones on hand, but you basically just get a silicone block like this. A shaping or gouging tool and those you can get at Michaels they're not super expensive put your shaping and gouging tool together and then basically you just gouge out the design that you want once you get done doing that then here are your silicone designs and you can do clay in them you can do resin in them you can do pretty much anything you want in them um, currently right now I've just been doing resin and then painting them which I'm about to show you they're almost dry so I'm just gonna go ahead and take them out so once you you just pour you take your resin I'm using two three part liquid resin mixing it up and then you just pour it into the mold and then you just pop it right out of the mold and since this is clear and I didn't use any pigment in it yet or anything like that it'll just be like a clear little mold of whatever design you made I'm trying to get you a better view of this yeah you can't really see very well but well you kind of can and then basically I'll just take paint and I'll paint and seal and then these actually you don't necessarily need a back on. Um, I just like these backs so I just went up ahead and put on one of these. You could actually just go ahead and wire wrapper or um, something like that and then you could just do a floating cameo if you wanted. Actually you can see her from the back a little bit better if I know where my camera's at which apparently I don't. There we go. And then this is a skeleton lady that's painted over there. And then this is your mold. Silicone. It releases really easy. You don't even need a resin releaser to use it. Um, then I'm also going to be making some rings coming up. So basically I just actually got this silicone ring maker from China and basically just put um, seeds and flowers in it and this one may not be dry enough to pop out yet but you could put anything you really wanted in it yeah, this is not quite dry enough, but I'm going to pop it out anyway. This one's one of the smaller ones. So I'm going to be uh, putting out some rings, some nature in the nature series that I'm doing. So you can look forward to seeing that at Mirabelle's Menagerie on Etsy. And then just let it dry and then it won't be moldable yeah these aren't quite ready to be popped out but pretty close uh, which brings me to my final um, thing I am also doing a series of necklaces that might be a little bit controversial um, so I just wanted to do like a real quick video basically I've had medical issues my whole entire life um, been in and out of the hospital since I can remember with varying things um, you know, it started actually when I was born. I was when I was born, um, the cord was around my neck. I came out really, really fast. It choked me. I had to be revived. Um, so clinically, I was actually dead for a little while. And then after that, I had double hernias and had to go in. I went in for my first surgery when I was six months old. Um, and then I had some issues with my white blood cell count, so I continuously had to get sticks and pokes and get my blood drawn and it's just it's been a battle my body likes to battle me so far I'm still winning as of right now um, 
So I kind of did a series. Right now I'm having to do some more shots. And I did a series of necklaces that kind of incorporate that into. I mean, I'm a horror gore fan anyway. So be forewarned, this might trigger you. and You may not want to look at these. But I went ahead and made some necklaces out of some of um, the syringes that I've been having to use. This one's still not quite dry, so it's really, really shiny. It's just the tip of the syringe, and then I decorated it to kind of look like these are the units. Because the meds I'm having to take right now are actually marked in units. So, and this is not actual blood. It is actually paint. But, um, and they were sterilized. You cannot actually get to the needle. The needle is completely covered. It will not hurt you. Um, the top of the little plastic on some of them I left out a little bit because I like making necklaces that are tactile. Um, basically, I like to play with my jewelry. So, on this one, like, you can feel the plastic a little bit. It's still covered, but you can feel it a little bit. And all precautions were taken, and I do not have any uh, diseases or anything like that. Um, also, on top of that, I did sterilize them completely. So, at any rate, um, hopefully that doesn't bother anybody, but it's a really personal series of necklaces to me. So, I just wanted to kind of, when I look at them, I see the fight that I personally have had an endure going in and out of the hospital and hopefully there are others out there like me maybe you're just a horror fan and find them fascinating which that's cool too um, but especially the ones I did this is actually what I like to call hospital blue because when you're in and out of the hospital a whole lot this is the blue that you will find in the gowns this is the blue that you will find in the pants this is the blue that you will find in the little slippers that they give you so this is like hospital blue so that's why I did those so the the color is significant on that one these are just black light reactive because I don't know because I like to make everything black light reactive if you haven't figured that one out by now but anyway I just wanted to do a quick video I want to give a quick rundown on how to make your own silicone molds it's fairly easily you can get this this is silicone is barely bendy and then basically a gouging tool and then you just sit here and you just gouge out your pattern on it Pour the resin in, let it sit until it's dry, pop the sucker out, and then you can have your own personalized um, pendants with your own personal design. And then when you, I, I like to use clear because I like to paint them. Like this took several layers of paint to get the detail on it. And she also does have black light reactive eyes because of course I am me and I just had to. Couldn't help myself. So. Hopefully this was informative. Hopefully you enjoy the video. Um, I'm going to be trying to get more videos up since um, I made the announcement on Facebook. Thank you everybody who on Facebook saw my announcement and have come over to my channel and subscribed and been watching my videos. Um, I so much appreciate all the support and hope everyone has a fantastic day. Happy crafting, happy life, happy cosplay.